So inversions allow you to play any chord, C major for example, in root. C major first inversion means take the lowest note and move it an octave higher. C major second inversion means take the now lowest note and move it an octave higher. Okay, and then you do it again, and now you get C major again in root. The reason this is so powerful is because it allows us to be able to do things like this. So I'm not gonna do a deep dive here, but I'm just gonna show you how going from C to G requires a jump. We don't always like having to do that jump. So what if we said that we can play C and G, you should be able to see that this is also a G major chord, right? Because take this G, move it an octave lower. You see that's the same chord, right? It's G, it's just a different version of G. So inversions, in a nutshell, let you play chord progressions. That's just a fundamental example of two chords, but imagine doing that type of thing. Those were all, or mostly, inversions or utilizing inversions to be able to go from one chord to the next. So practice that. Let me know if there's any comments below, or let me know if there's any specific topics that you would like me to cover on the next one of these. All right? Take care.